It's no secret that Battlefield 5's marketing campaign has been a complete dumpster fire. It's amazing just how badly EA and DICE pissed off their fans, especially considering all the community goodwill they've had in the past. But what is it about Battlefield 5 that's making everyone so angry? Well, it doesn't take a genius to see the problem. That's right, it's the name. Hey idiots, why'd you name your game using a dead language? The only way anybody could even know it's supposed to be Battlefield 5 is if they could read Latin. And even if you do figure out that V is supposed to mean 5, that just makes it more confusing. How are they making a fifth one already if the first one just came out? Shouldn't it be called Battlefield 2? What, they already made that one? It came out in 2005! They can call this one Battlefield 5 all they want, but we'll never forget the real Battlefield 5. Battlefield Hardline is one of the worst, easily one of the worst battlefields. Let's take a look at the trailers that have been released for the game. The first trailer is a confusing nightmare where you can't tell what's happening or what side people are on. This trailer is what kickstarted all the hate. After that, they tried to save face with their multiplayer reveal trailer. Alright, I have a theory about this one. So the music is just like a serious, somber version of the Battlefield theme playing the whole time. And there's only a few actual gameplay sounds. So my theory is that after the overwhelmingly negative response to the first trailer, EA was like, ah crap, make the next trailer serious, even though it was already edited to the beat of a different song. So the video editor was like, screw that, I'm not redoing all my work, and just slapped the Battlefield theme on there, and spent like five minutes adjusting the clips to line up with it. If you watch the trailer, you can see what I mean. It's not that crazy of a theory. Then they had their trailer at Gamescom, which was more along the lines of their typical trailer. Although I don't think they could have used a more cliche song than House of the Rising Sun, I mean, really. The most baffling thing about all these trailers is that if you wanted to see actual non-scripted gameplay and learn about the new gameplay mechanics, none of the trailers have anything about that. You gotta look up YouTube gaming channels to actually understand what they changed about the game. And I don't wanna watch YouTube gaming channels, I hate those guys. So by now people are thinking, eh, you know, the first trailer was kinda bad, but maybe it'll be good. And then they released a trailer all about character customization. <laughs> Now look, I don't have a problem with people playing as female stormtroopers. Were there female stormtroopers in the movies? Not really, but it doesn't affect the gameplay at all, so I don't really care about that. But some degenerate decided to give people the option to take their stormtrooper helmet off, which just instantly destroyed the visual style of the game. It also ruined immersion because no stormtroopers in the Galactic Civil War were running around with no helmet on, except that guy. Eventually DICE realized how stupid this was, and they made it so stormtroopers have to wear the actual stormtrooper uniform, which just makes sense. So everyone's mad about all this stuff, but the thing I'm mad about is when are they going to make another Battlefield Heroes? Battlefield Heroes.